and what is pie chart first actually pie chart is a chart that is in a circular form okay it is a circular um, diagram and the circle is divided into pies or slices or sectors and each pie represent the percentage of the observation the whole pie chart the whole circle represents 100 percentage and each pie or each slice uh, has certain percentage of 100 like 20% 30% 50% but the, when we add all that when we sum up all that it gives us 100 the total pie chart carries 100 percentage as in the bar chart we can also put the pie chart for both absolute and relative frequencies and when the pies or the observation or the category is less than 6 or uh, or around 6 uh, the pie chart looks more beautiful and it will be better for displaying the data okay uh, why because when the uh, categories or the uh, number of observation increases it will be difficult for us to compare between the slices or the pies that's why we use uh, they say 6 or less than 6 is perfect for pie charts okay let's move on to excel and in excel uh, actually this is the frequency distribution table that we use for the past three videos okay so all of these are related to each other and uh, the past video the bar chart video is extremely um, interrelated and extremely similar as well so please watch that first and i will not tell every editing functions in this video because i've already told there okay and here and now i'm going to select the group column the relative frequency column and uh, go to insert charts by chart yeah we have got it and nothing to explain about this and that's all uh, in excel let's move on to spss and yeah in spss uh, it's nothing but as usual go to analyze descriptive statistics frequencies the frequency table appears and in that select the uh, variable that you want to put pie chart for and uh, click on the charts and uh, pie chart either you can select the frequency or the percentage and click continue click ok the pie chart will be displayed and in the last video i told you how to edit the chart right so i'm not going to repeat it again and again so uh, i have given the link in the description box below as well as you can directly go to the video by clicking on the link that appears on the top okay so that's all in spss now let's move on to r so i am now in the r environment and here what i'm going to do is as, as i did in the past two videos i'm going to assign a variable to the group column in the students performance data set because i'm going to put a pie chart for the column group okay so i'm going to assign the variable as group itself group equal to students performance dollar group it means that this group the variable group refers to the group column in the student performance data set okay then uh, if you want to put a chart we need a frequency table only based on the frequency table we will be uh, constructing a chart it's as good as that okay so that in order to construct a frequency distribution for the group variable what i'm going to do is, is i'm going to give the variable as absolute frequency is the variable equal to table of group okay and the relative frequency frequency equal to prop dot table of absolute frequency okay and what i'm going to do is I'm, now i'm going to apply the pi chart p i e pi of relative frequency as pi chart always focuses on the percentage i'm going to give relative frequency for the um for the presentation okay a pi of relative frequency and let's see the difference here we can uh, look at the chart actually the values are not given not represented in this chart but we can make it uh, visible okay press the up arrow in, instead of typing it at time comma i'm going to give the labels labels is equal to nothing but relative frequency again so uh, the percentages will appear okay i hope so <laughs> but the values are in proportion as i said before in one of my videos the relative frequency can be represented either in percentage or in proportion here it's uh, represented using proportion so when you add all these the total will be one 
the total will be equal to 1 okay so in order to convert this proportion into frequency we have to multiply these values into 100 so what i'm going to do is i'm going to assign a variable called percentage percentage is equal to relative frequency into 100 okay let's try changing the uh, label labels equal to let me give percentage close the bracket here you can see that it's it's a it's a change from 0, 0.0 from the proportion to the percentage and when you add all these you will get 100 okay because 100 is the total of the pi okay and i personally feel that i want that percentage symbol in all, in all the um, slices as well as the name of the um, sector or the uh, slice okay so in order to do that what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the labels from merely percentage to some more extra i'm going to add the percentage symbol and the names of the absolute frequency to the percentage i'm going to press the up arrow in order to get the same code once again and what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the paste function uh, what does paste do paste combines things that's it so i'm going to paste p a s t e paste of what are the things i'm going to paste the name names of absolute frequency comma the percentage which is the uh, relative frequency into 100 in this case and after that the sign the percentage sign so this is the label what i'm what i have did is pi of relative frequency comma labels equal to i'm going to paste the names of absolute frequency comma percentage comma the percentage sign these are the labels of this chart okay i'm going to press enter here you can see the changes and this is not that much attractive according to me but it's okay there are many other ways in order to make the chart more attractive we can use various packages in order to do that but for this video i'm not going to discuss all that if you want you can comment in the comment section and i can uh, do it in a separate video if you want colors we can also add colors to this chart there is nothing but col equal to as i did in the previous video we can use rainbow vector rainbow of five here you can see the changes or else you can use a different color c i'm going to give a vector c is a vector of colors okay c of i'm going to give yellow pink red dark blue green 